Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video we're going to be talking about exactly how long does it take a tractor trailer to come to a complete stop um, after, after picking up speed, right? So in today's video, the thing that you have to understand is when you are driving a tractor trailer, it's not going to be stopping like a car. They say in the CDO manual it's going to take up to about a football field or 300 feet in order to come to a complete stop. In today's video, we're going to be using our state of the art driving simulator to actually test out that theory and this thing is as close as you're going to get to real life driving. We're going to test it out in two different uh, scenarios as well. We're going to test it out on dry pavement, dry pavement and we're also going to test it out on wet slick pa pavement as well to see what their actual difference is. So let's get going. And the thing you have to understand is that there's two main factors when it comes to actually stopping distance. The one factor that's important is how long is your vehicle, right? How big is your vehicle? How much weight do you have? So all the size of the vehicle comes, has a big factor to it. Uh, the other factor is going to be how fast are you actually going. So this vehicle itself is going to be about 75 feet long. I'm picking up speed now going around this course, that's this virtual course that we have. And then, we're, this is definitely not something you should do at home folks. But we're going about 25 miles an hour. We're trying to make a U-turn here just so we can pick up some speed. The goal would be to get this vehicle about to 40 to 45 miles an hour by the time we're done at the end of this line. I'm going to let you know when I actually hit the brakes itself and you actually get to see how long of a distance it takes. So we're at 44 miles an hour. I came to, I hit on the brakes right before that actual triangle that you see there, which is the cone. And as you notice, the entire vehicle has passed that cone. So it's, if you kind of look at it, it's probably about 100 feet or so from 40 miles an hour to come to a complete stop, right? So I came to a complete stop in dry pavement. So this is a nice sunny day, best case scenario. We're, even, we're not overweight, we're not underweight. So this is the quickest that you're gonna be able to stop going around 45 miles an hour or so, right? So now we're gonna try this theory out and see how much of a wet pavement actually happens. So in the other side of this course, there's actually wet pavement going on. So we're gonna to try to pick up some speed and we're going to see exactly what the difference is going to look like on the back end. So those yellow lines are the slick pavement. Right now we're going about 30 miles an hour, try to get to 35. Okay, we're at 35. We're going to come to a complete, I'm pressing on the brakes all the way down. And as you notice, with this wet pavement, it still keeps the whole thing moving. So we've probably traveled about two truck lengths already, as you can see from the actual lines painted on the ground until we have come to a complete stop. So, what does this mean to you while you're actually driving? So one of the cool things about being a student here is that you actually get to experience this on our simulator before you ever experience this in real life. And this is not something that you want to experience in real life. Because if, if you ever have to come to a complete stop and you don't have enough distance in front of you, that can be the difference between living and dying that day, right? So here we really want to hammer in the safety of actually driving in a tractor trailer because as you can see, at minimum, with clear, perfect conditions, it's going to take you at least 100 feet to come to a complete stop. Think how much can happen in that 100 feet, right? So if you understand that mentally inside your mind, you're going to be driving your car much slower. You're going to be driving your tractor trailer much slower. Because in order for you to stop an accident, you're going to have to make sure you can come to a complete stop in the proper amount of time. So if you like this video, if you want to get training on our actual simulator, we can do things like change the weather on you, make it rain, make it snow. We can give you years of experience within a few days of training on this piece of machinery right over here. And this is only a portion of the actual training itself. So you're not going to be on here the entire time. We have a full-size training yard where you actually get into the trucks. And you learn your pre-trip inspection, your parking. And here's where we start to teach you how to get onto the road before we put you on the real truck on the real road. So if you are interested in learning more about how to get a CDL license, or if you like this video, give us a call at 908-525-3609, or check out our virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. I hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you soon in person one day. Thanks, have a fantastic day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, Here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.